Today we will solve this question. If y equal to e to the power ax into sin bx, then prove that y2 minus 2ay1 plus a square plus b square into y equal to 0. So, what are y1 and y2 here? It, it, those are the first order and second order derivative of y respectively. Okay. So, you must know that we can also write the first order and second order derivative of y as y1 and y2. So, let's start solving this question. y equal to e to the power ax sin bx. So, y1 will be for this we will use uv method. So, it will be ddx of e to the power ax into sin bx plus ddx of sin bx into e to the power ax. So, it will be a e to the power ax into sin bx plus b cos bx into e to the power ax. Now see that y equal to e to the power ax into sin bx and here is also e to the power ax into sin bx. So we will replace it with y. So it will be a y plus if we rearrange this it will be e to the power ax cos bx. Okay. Now we will find the second order derivative. So y2 equal to will be it will be a y1 plus for this term we will use uv method again. So it will be ddx of b e to the power ax into cos bx plus ddx of cos bx into b e to the power ax. Okay. See it will be a y1 plus a b e to the power ax cos bx minus derivative of cos bx will be minus b sin bx into b e to the power ax. So it will be a y1 plus we will write it as it e to the a b e to the power a x into cos b x and we will write it as b square e to the power a x sin b x. Now there is something to notice here. Firstly y1 equal to this a y plus b into e to the power a x cos b x. So from here you can say that b e to the power a x cos bx will be y1 minus a y okay so you will use the, this result so it will be a y1 plus in the place of this we will use this okay so it will be a into y1 minus a y and minus b square into here is it will be x into sin bx which is y so you will use y here okay so it will be a y1 plus a y1 if you open the bracket a y1 minus a square y minus b square y so these two will make 2 a y1 minus we will take y common out so it will be a square plus b square in the bracket into y okay so if we move these terms to the left hand side it will be y2 minus 2ay1 plus a square plus b square y equal to it will be 0. So it is proved. So it is a very good question. So this is a good process. Um, there are many ways other than this. One of those is you can find y1 and y2 individually and put it here to get 0 in the 
right hand side so but this is a small process i guess so if you like this video make sure to like comment and share and for this type of more videos and concepts subscribe to our channel thank you for giving your time